in the last video what we have learned right, how to model a composite plate using three dimensional solid element and how to perform our model analysis in the model analysis what we have learned we have learned how to get frequency and the more shifts okay so what we have learned in the frequency and the more shifts more shift is basically our eigen vector an eigen vector is a special vector when it operate on a matrix it used to give the same eigen vector with some multiplication constant this constant is known your eigen value and this vector is your our special vector that is your eigen vector now to solve this problem what we used to do we used to take this things the left hand side and then we used to take as a x as a common vector and we just take it out and since we assume eigen vector is a non zero vector is a non zero vector so this part should be zero and to make it zero what we used to do we used to take the determinant of it and we make it zero and then we used to solve the we used to solve for eigen value okay again we have learned that eigen solution is a two step process first step we used to solve for eigen value and then we put that eigen value into the equations we put the eigen value into the equations in the equation of into the equations of here and we used to get our eigen vector that is our more shapes okay so more shapes basically indicate it indicate a shape in which a structure can bend easily so eigen vector is a more shapes more shapes basically indicate a shape get a shape in which a structure can bend easily okay so for first more shapes is basically indicate the shape where structure can bend easily so here we can see if we have this type of let first mode will be twisting like things because that is the easiest way to or easiest way for this plate to bend if you use this if you use this cantilever if we use if we use this cantilever beam in that case we will observe first or most easiest way of this of this beam is to bend like this okay so this will be your first mode shape second mode shape will observe it is bending like this so basically mode shape is indicating how easily it can be it can bend okay so basically for having the first mode shape the structure need to spend less amount of energy to bend if you go higher mode that means that need to get higher energy that indicate or that need higher energy to bend okay so basically eigen vector is a mode shape again mode shape indicate the shape in which a structure can bend the so first mode is the most easiest way first mode is the most first mode shapes is the most easiest shape in which the structure can bend okay first mode is the most easiest way a structure can bend so mode shape is basically a shape in which in a structure can bend okay so let us go to our topic so in the last class we have learned how to model a composite plate using 3d solid element and then again we have learned if you want to model composite plate using 3d solid element and if you want to make it as a layer wise then how we can model so here we have learned how to model a composite plate in a layer wise manner using c3 d8 r element again how to model using c3 d c3 d20 r element so this is the things we have learned one more thing you have to keep it in your mind that you have to perform conversion study okay what is conversion study if you want to know then you please go through the first lecture okay first few lecture you will get the idea okay so here we have learned how to get the frequency of the more shapes for a composite plate using 3d solid element you in a single layer or defining property in a multi layer so here in this lecture what we are going to do we are going to learn how to model a composite using cell element okay using cell element that is your 2d cell element how to model a composite using 2d cell element here we learn how to define the property in a single layer again we learn how to define a property in a multi layer okay and both the result will try to compare we will see how much error is coming so here we will consider first equivalence in layer theory that where we consider all the metal property are defined in a single layer equivalent single layer 
and then we will try to see how we can extend it for multi layer. Let us do the job here. We will create here. We will create one more new model. Here we will write and model as a cell. Cell element cell. Uh, right. Write the model name cell plate. Now here we do here we will model using here we have to create the part then we have to define the property we have to instances in the assembly we have to define whatever analysis we have to perform here we have to consider linear perturbation and frequency analysis and here we have to define the mesh loading part will not be there since it is a free vibration analysis so there will not be any loading there once we done the missing we will submit the job and we will get the result once we get the result we will do the conversion study and we will see and we will see how many number of element is required to converge result to get the converge result and then we will extend it for multi layer we extend it for our layer wise property for the composite we will see how our result is varying and at the end we will discuss which element we should consider and whether equivalent single layer is sufficient or you have to consider multi layer okay so let us go for the parts so with the part we will we'll create in the part we will create cd cell and we will consider planner so here we will consider this part and rectangular option we will select and we will define two opposite corner is minus 200 it is equal to minus 3 and then minus 150 to the power of minus 3 and here 200 to the power of minus 3 and 150 to the power of minus 3 so here we are creating a plate of having size 300 mm by 400 mm this is the composite plate we have created this is the composite plate we have created using this cell now we will define our metal property you go to metal property so we know our metal property density here 1960 and in the mechanical we'll go for elasticity and then elastic here instead of isotropic we'll go for engineering constant and in the engineering constant we'll define our metal property e1 is your 35 gpa 35 e9 per meter square e2 is 30 gpa 30 e9 E3 is used to consider 20 GP, 20 E9. Poison is used to consider as a 0 0.25 and 0 0.25, 0 0.25. G is 7 GP, 7 E9. Here it is 5 GP, 5 E9. And here it is 5 GP, 5 E9. So here we are defining the metal property. Now we'll assign it. Here we'll consider the homogeneous to define metal property considering a equivalent single layer theory here we will define the thickness thickness is 10 mm 10 e to the power minus 3 10 mm now we will assign it yeah now you can see we have assigned the metal property here now what we are going to do we are going to the instances here here we will create as instances okay? As a here we have created instances as a direct instances. Okay, here we have created instances. Now we'll define the step. In the step we'll define linear perturbation and then frequency analysis. So here we need first five frequency and our minimum frequency we are keeping as one to avoid our rigid body most. We have defined the frequency. Now we have to do the missing. Here we're missing. Here we'll do the missing using. This part here will define as per edge. Seed value we define seed value as per edge. So seed value basically we are creating the node here. Initially we will take 10 by 10 element and then this side I will consider I will consider this side also I will consider 10. So 
400 so you can use okay so we define 10 10 size now we go for messing here you can see we have created the messing now what are we going to do we are going to submit the job the job is your the job is here let let now we are going to submit the job here and yeah, submit the job job to here and we will see what are the results are coming we will note down the frequency and we will do the conversion study here here we will note down the frequency Here we will note down the frequency. First frequency is coming 165.43. Then we have 273.59. Then we have 435.10. Then we have 462.87. Then we have 462 we have fourth mode and next is your 558.35 these are the five mode we have with this case of 10 cross 10 okay now we'll increase the number of missing and we'll run the analysis again so here what i'm going to do i'm going to define this side for 20 element And this side, I'm going to define 15 element. Now I'll do the missing. Okay. Now again, I'll submit the job and I'll note down the frequency. Now we have 20 plus 15, so it is even finer. One more trial we'll do with 40 cross 30 and we'll see whether the result is converged or not. Let us see. Here you can see one first frequency 164.57 or first frequency 164. Next we have 270.67. Next we have 430.30. Next we have 458.72. Next, we have 554.16. Okay, now we've got some value with little bit finer missing. Again, we'll go for more finer mess and we'll see how the frequency is changing. So, here we'll go for here 40 element and this side I'll go for. element now i'll define the missing now i'll submit the job again and note down the frequency so here you try to recall that using solid element using solid element we got frequency that's like 154.27, then 254.14, then we got 404.66, then we got 429.43, then we got 519. Something. Okay. So we'll see with there whether we'll see whether our result is converging or not. Here we're getting still 164.10. Okay. And then we are getting 269.92, and then we got 428.63, and then we are getting 456.32. Next, we are getting 551.39. Okay, so all the value we are getting here for S4R element because Avacus by default is to select. 
four nodded linear elements. So now what we can do? We can we can either further increase the mesh, further increase the mesh, either further we increase the mesh or we can use higher order element. So here what I am doing, I am choosing higher order element that is element type from S4R to S8R. Okay. Now S4R to S8R we have done. Now I will submit the job again and I will note down. Okay. So what I did, I submitted a model with S8R element with a discrimination of 40 cross 30. Okay. We will see whether this result is converging or not. Okay. So result is done. Result is done. Now I'll go taking the result in first mode till it is 163, 163.88. Then it is 269.67. Then 27.95. Then it four five five six three four eight five five zero. So this is the result we are getting using cell element. Okay. Now we can do one more trial, but I think this is that result. Okay, the cell element do not require much discrimination. This element is this many number of element. Okay, the element size where we each where we have divided the plate into 40 into 30, we have considerably we have considerably finer mesh, and also we're using S8R uh, as per my expectation is giving converse result. We can increase the missing, but will not get much improved result. Okay. Again, you can see our S4R and S8R also giving very close result. So we have to accept this is our converse result. Okay. Now next, what we are going to do. We are going to model this cell using multi layer and we'll see how we can get the result. We have learned how to model a composite plate using a single layer. That is basically equivalent single layer theory. Okay. Basically, we have learned how to model a composite plate as per equivalent single layer theory. So, there we have assumed a composite plate or a plate. And we have modeled it as a single layer of the cell element. Now, here what we are going to do here, we are going to model the composite plate using layer wise. Here we are going to model, model the plate. Here we are going to model the plate using multiple layers. Here we are going to model the plate using multiple layers. So, here you just see we have already defined the property. Now, here we will see. Here we will use cell instead of homogeneous. Now we will use composite. So here if you use composite, now here material we will choose as material one because we have only one material. Okay, and thickness here I am keeping 5 to the minus 3, 5 mm. Okay, zero orientation and this line M1 and second layer also 5 mm. And now you are giving it 0 and 3 and this 1. Okay, now sorry, it should be here, yeah, it should be two. Okay, now we have defined a composite material. Okay, and its property. So now we define the property of the composite material in two layers. So here you can enter it. Here in this case, if you want to edit it, here you can enter and you can create more number of layers. Like that, you can enter, you can create more number of layers. Okay, if there is a blank. Row in that case, you have to delete the row. Okay, so I am deleting it by using right click. So here we have defined two layer of a composite. Now we will run the program and we will see how much frequency is coming. This is the way we can model composite using multiple layers. Okay, here we can model a composite plate using 
multiple layer. We will see other option also in the next. Now we see other option also how we can model other way. How we can model. Next, we will see how we can model in other way. So here you can see first frequency is 163.88. It's fine. Next, we have 269.67. Next, we have 427.95. Next, we have 455.51 and 550.37. Okay, so here you just see which element we have used here, which element we have used here. You see, we are using S8R element, so it's fine. So, missing an element is fine. Basically, here we are also getting one bachelor's also. Here, what we have learned how we can model a composite plate using multiple layer. Okay. Now, again, we will try to explore other way how we can provide metal property. Now, what we are going to do, I am going to delete metal property that we have assigned here. Now, here I will choose this option, create composite layup option. Now, here we can use. You, here we will use conventional cell element and here we will define the region. Region here I am selecting same region for all the four layer. Material here we will select only one material we have. So I am selecting material one for all the material thickness here. I need to provide as 2.5 e to the power minus 3. Next we have 2.5 e to the power minus 3. Next we have 2.5 to the power minus 3. Next, 2.5 to the power minus 3. This is the thickness of the material. And global axis here, I am selecting here 0. Okay. So here you can see this is our line 1, that is your x axis, y axis, and third is your z axis. And rotation here 0 degree, integration point you are selecting 3 point integration. Okay. Now here we have to see layup orientation. Okay, layup orientation axis you can see global part global is fine. This part global is fine. Now okay, still not defined well. Okay. So, what you have to do? We have to delete. Yes, we have to delete this option. Then only it will come. Yes, now. What we have done, we have deleted these options and you also have deleted these options. Okay. Now we have assigned it freshly using composite layer. Okay. So here we have defined four layer and thickness of the four layer is 2.5 mm for each layer. And angle of orientation is zero degree. Now we we'll run it and we'll see what are the frequency. Are coming. So here we'll run it and see what are the frequency are coming. So the job is completed. Job is completed. Here again, you can see the frequency is coming 163.88, 269.67, 427.95. For 5.51 and 550.37. So this is the way we can model. Now here we can do one more trial. We'll just change the angle of orientation. We'll see whether the result is changing or not. This way basically we can this way basically we can see that our value is changing or not. Basically, I am doing some random trial. Basically, I am doing some trial and doing some trial to see whether. We are getting some different value or not. Okay. If we are getting some different volumes, you can say that layup orientation 0 degree 90 degree, 0 degree 90 degree it is working. 0 degree 90 degree, 0 degree 90 degree layup orientation is working. For that, I just give a trial. I give a run. Now we'll see what are the result is coming. So initially, we had 163.88. Now here you can see that value has changed 163.78. So you can say that 0 90, 0 90 angle orientation also. Or apply orientation is also working. So you can now, now you can 
see that the result is changing. So our our layer orientation is working fine here. So what we have learned here, first we have learned how to model a composite plate using cell element using a single layer using a single layer that is your equivalent single layer theory. Next we have learned how to model the composite plate by defining your cell and as a composite element. Okay, we define that composite layer using create section option here. We have selected cell and composite option and then we have defined layer. Next what we have learned we also can define using composite create composite layer option and here we have selected conventional cell model and we have defined number of layer and their orientation and other details and we are getting the same result. Okay, so this is the way we can model composite using multiple layer.